Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to target the parent of an element using jQuery. Uh, every HTML has a parent element which, from which it inherits properties. For example, your jQuery Playground H3 element has a parent element of div class fluid container. Look at this. Div class fluid container. The parent element is the body. Oh, okay. And then the H3, which is this guy, um, jQuery Playground has a parent element of container, div class fluid container, which itself has a parent body. Uh, jQuery has a function called parent that allows you to access the parent of whichever element you've selected. <clears throat> Here's an example of how you would use the parent function if you wanted to give the parent element of the left well element a background color of blue. So here on the left well, the parent uh, has a CSS of background color of blue. Um, what do you think would happen if we put this in here? The left well. So that we're looking for the ID of left well. This is the ID of left well. The left well, the parent of this element, which is this H. Uh, no, it's the column 6 would have a background color of blue. And the column, if we right click here and we go inspect, if we ho hover over the column, this is going to be what would have a background color of blue if we were to put that in there. So let's throw it in and see what happens yeah okay cool so the 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 um let's right click here <clears throat> and so what we did was we said to the well we're saying which is highlighted in that space on the inside we're saying your parent element which is the one that's above it is this guy and this one has a background color and now you can see we've injected the background color of blue into the style element we can get rid of that for now um, i'm going to extend this out so it's a little easier to see the code and i'm going to get rid of this for now uh, give the parent of the target one an element a background color of red. So let's guess what's going to happen here. Target one, which we have set up here, uh, we could go target one. Um, this is the button. Uh, if we target, if we select target one, but we want the parent of that, it's going to be the well. Cool. So if we were to select the well, if I right click here and inspect here, we'll see that this whole well element would light up. This is where we want to give it a background color of uh, red. So my guess is that this whole area, this whole area that's gray right now, will have a background color of red once we're done with this. So the first one we want to go is go uh, target. And we want to give target one. Oh, I got to make these solid brackets. <clears throat> and so right now we've selected target one, um, which is this guy. And we want to say dot parent. And we want to make sure we uh, do the uh, curly braces or the uh, brackets to invoke the function. And then we're going to set the uh, CSS. And we're going to say the uh, background uh, color is equal to red. And a semicolon to wrap it up. Parent. What am I missing? Target one. We want to set the T A R G E T T A R G E T one. We want that guy dot parent dot CSS background color. There we go. And now, just like we hoped, that has turned red. Um, run the tests. See they pass. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.